<laughs> what up YouTube? Alright, so I know it's been a long what three four months since our last video. I understand we've been taking our sweet time to upload the new one. Why is that? We've been spending the last three four months building our place, uh, making sure it's livable, making sure it's uh, weatherproof. For some of you guys that don't know, in Arizona it does snow, it does get very cold. So what happens is we've been getting a lot of snow and temperatures have been, the lowest has been eight, six, six degrees. But it's just, you gotta make sure that you have your place insulated, you have everything that's nice and warm, your animals are nice and warm. But uh, now that we're finally somewhat situated, more in a comfortable state. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. I'm gonna start showing you some of the projects that we do around here. And it's just uh, every day is a different project that needs to be done. Or your animals show you, hey, you need to do this, you need to do that. Like for now, you can see our goats do coexist with the dogs. He just got out. He thought we were gonna tell him to get out, but. From now on, we're gonna start showing you updates and uh, stay tuned. What we're working on now is we're gonna be adding a lot more ground or more room for the goats to actually have in their own pen. So we're gonna add fencing starting from this post all the way to here, back there, surrounding the male one so that the males can also have an uh, entrance or exit to come on in and have more room as well. Or when it's time to make uh, let them mate, we can do that without letting them out here. The only reason is because the males are a little hectic, they're a little crazy. But the females, as you can tell, this is Lucy here. She, she's lovable. She, lo she loves to be cuddled or pet. She sees the kids, she'll come over. And then if you see the one behind and side right now, she's Lucy, that's the daughter. She's a little skittish, she doesn't know us yet, but Lucy, she that's why we uh, kind of picked her. The kids picked her, actually. Uh, when we went and picked them up, the, the kids were just hugging on her, so we're like, all right, we're taking her. Might as well take the daughter, Cena. But uh, if you guys want to see how we're going to go ahead and add more uh, square footage to these goats, Keep on watching. My name is Anna, I'm Jose's wife um, here at Bayos Homestead. Um, so we are growing or uh, making the goats run a little bit bigger. If you see right now, they have this little space. They don't have a locked door because they can come in and out as often as they like because they can fend from themselves, but we still want them to have a little bit more protection. Um, if you notice, the girls are out. So when the girls are out, we can't let the boys out because then all they want to do is, uh, you know, be on top of them <laughs> um, to keep it PG. <laughs> um, so uh, my husband is working on adding that run here so that they have a little bit more space uh, to either, you know, be with the women or with the girls. And um, yeah, sorry. <laughs> So he's making the uh, the run bigger so that the boys can run in and out and have more space. Um, a lot of time when we let them loose, the girls they actually just like to sit next to them and just chill. So um, that's gonna work out perfectly for them to do that. So yeah. <laughs> We got 
got our T-posts. It's time to put the fencing up. Hopefully we have enough, and if we don't, we're going to have to go to the, uh, what is it, the yard dump. Unfortunately, we got to pay for whatever metal we take out, but it's way cheaper than buying a brand new, so we'll see what we got. I forgot that I got to not only take this people's off, but I got to take these off because I'm going to open this all the way up there. Mm. So, watch me do that again. <laughs> <laughs> Now, I know a lot of you guys talk smack on Ryobi, and it's okay, but it gets the job done. <laughs> That's all you need. Yeah, if I needed, if I was using it, you know, to actually work with at an actual construction place, you get professional. It's because your employer helps you. But for now, Ryobi does it. Some of you guys might have some special tools to remove zip ties and blah, 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 blah. My tool is like a dollar. And it's just one of those uh, carabiners. It's broken, so we just use it to latch a fence or whatever, whatever we find use for. All right. Oh, all right, Papa. Can you take the pants over there? You want to Life with toddlers. <laughs> what he understood was <laughs> So he went over there. But, you know, you win some, you lose some. <laughs> Those of you wondering, these are called Arizona Jordans. <laughs> you know? All the type of Jordans that you get out here. Best kind. And yes, your goats can chew through rope. They can chew through zip ties. They can chew through wood. So, uh, for those of you that might comment, oh, you're using zip ties, blah, blah, blah. So far, we haven't had an incident. The girls are good. And uh, if they do get out, we know that they won't run away. They'll stay around the boys or around us where they know there's food. Now, if you're curious what's going on behind us, it's a little uh, sign that our male goats wanna, wanna mate. <laughs> I'm just intertwining the wire of the fence with the other fence just to make a little lock locking system and then I'll just add zip ties on the main areas which would be bottom and top. Now when you're on a homestead <laughs> everything is useful. Everything that you can think that might be trash you end up using this chicken coop wire that I'm putting on used to belong to my neighbor and he had it in an old property and uh, he was going to throw it away so I was like I can use it and since then it's been used for chickens ducks and now goats 
So anything on a farm can be reused and reused and reused until it's not usable. And even then, you can find use for that. <laughs> <laughs> What I'm doing here is just stepping on the edges, giving maybe a inch or so, maybe a more than an inch, almost like four inches. And I'm stepping in so it just creates a little barrier underneath. And over time, the sand blows over and creates a little barrier under the sand. But I mean, fun fact that I didn't know about, about male goats is that when they feel threatened, they're willing to headbutt anything, and they'll headbutt a coyote and kill it. I've seen it, they already did it to my dog in the pit bull, so it makes me feel secure. And I'm a sip baby. Oh, yeah. Some of you guys might ask, what kind of predators do we have out here? And obviously the one that I already mentioned is coyotes. They used to be a constant visit here. Took a few of our chickens, took a few of, a few of our ducks, a few of our cats. But um, ever since we got the goats, we've heard them less and less. It's always good. I don't know if the goats have something to do with the peyotes not coming around anymore, but uh, it's always a plus. It's always a good thing.
measurements were like precise. Right there. Right there. Boom. So let me just explain real quick. My husband built this. Uh, this is the storage for their feed. This is where the girls sleep. And we lock them up to protect them from the coyotes because, um, you know, they're a price procession. They're dairy milk goats, so um, we want to protect them. So we have that. And then we just saw these It's so cool. It has so much space. I love it. I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't introduce you to. This is Lucy girl. She's so sweet. Um, and that's her daughter, Sina. Now, as you can tell, Sina, she's a little bit more standoffish. Um, today actually marks a week since we've had them, so she's still warming up to us. But um, Lucy girl here, she's so sweet. She walked up to the kids. We're like, we have to take her. And then we didn't want to separate them, so that's why we brought Sina girl. And then, this is where they're going to be gracing. So cool. And then we have... Uh, oh, no, yeah. yeah. Okay. So we normally keep them separated because... Not they're going to be mating all of the time. And okay, now that's... Thunder. Um, lightning is hiding over there. The thunder here has been wanting to mate with Lucy. He's wanting it. He's wanting it. <laughs> so just a heads up. Might not be PG-13 anymore. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to let them out. He's already going in. He's already like, I ain't waiting. So that's thunder boy there. Lightning, that's the brother. Hmm? You can tell they're a little bit wild. <laughs> so let's just put them up and let the girls just have the fun. The girls just want to have fun.
boys haven't been out since we got them from their space. So what we did is put the girls out of that area so that they have more space to grace and, and run. And you already saw why we keep them separate. Place. Come on. Let's melt. Boy. Come on. Go see your whole place. Come on. <laughs> there you go. See? You have more space. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> and this is... What thought about this idea? Technically, a dog is supposed to be a uh, guardian dog. So, the pin or the run is long enough for him to be. So, why not take him out of our pop-up situation? We had him under there. Take his home. Drag it over. <laughs> Who's home? Who's home is that? Okay. Well, you saw us build a bigger space for the goats, safer space. Not only that, we added the dog in there. Gives us a little bit more of a safety protection at night. Uh, but again, if you guys like the content that you guys saw, you guys are going to be seeing more. You're going to see uh, maybe the chicken coop that we built or maybe a tour around the house, around the farm. Uh, whatever it is, so I hope you guys like it and stay tuned. Till next time, subscribe, hit the like button, and follow us. You gotta cooperate with the video, bro. Okay. Yeah. Is that nice? Okay. Por ti bien, güey. All right. What's going on? So we're in the male side right now. As you can tell, um, they're fenced, and. Um, Lucy girl here is trying to bite them. <laughs> Real life. Uh, so.